Shalom and welcome to Biblical Hebrew Made Easy. Today I'm going to do a review of all 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, of which five use different ending forms. So I have done videos for each of these letters. I actually went over the numerical values and the story behind each letter. I find Hebrew to be very fascinating. I speak several languages, but Hebrew is my favorite because it's very spiritual. It has spiritual meaning. Each of these letters are not just ordinary letters. Each letter is a symbol. It's full of many inner meanings from literal, straightforward meaning to deeper spiritual meaning. And understanding the letters provides essential insight into the deeper meanings of the Torah. And after studying the letters in depth, it's not uncommon for many people to feel that the letters express some direct spiritual communication that goes beyond words. So I encourage you to view the videos that I have created. They take a lot of time, dedication, and I want to share them with you. If you believe in God, you will see God in these letters. They are just, I can't even find the word. It's amazing. For instance, Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And it, it signifies the number one. That's this letter right here, which is a silent letter. Only has a sound if it um, if it uh, has a uh, vowel. Aleph indicates the oneness and unity of the Creator, the first and the last. Okay. It hints that beyond the illusion of separation and duality. Is, is underlying the oneness. And nothing separates the creator from his creation. It also represents the creation of something from nothing, like he created the earth, He created all the animals. I mean, that alone is mind-boggling. So it is the symbol of the beginning. He is the first and the last. He's timeless. He's spaceless. And present everywhere. That's just a little, a little something about the Aleph. But I encourage you again to view these videos I took so long to create. And you will have an appreciation of the language of our father. Okay, so let's begin with the pronunciation of each letter. Again, this is Aleph. Bet, it has a slash and a V because if it has a dot, it would be bet. Then there is the same letter without this little dot, and that one is called bet. Gimel. 
Okay, Gimel represents number three. Bet represents number two. So as I go from each alphabet, add a one. Okay, I'm not going to uh, call them out, but uh, know that each one has a number, and it begins with one. It begins with Aleph. So we have Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hey, Vav, Zion. Now this one, it's a CH. Now, uh, for Americans, uh, they would see that as sh pronunciation as sh, but here it's ch, okay, it's ch. This is chet, vet. I'm sorry, tet, yud, kaf. And here's Kaf uh, Sofit, which is one of those letters I was speaking about that goes at the end of a word. Lamet Mem Mem Sofit, that goes at the end of a word. They look Similar. Okay, if you look at the shape, it looks similar, but it's all enclosed. Noon actually looks like a, a nun sitting down. I always look at that letter and it looks like a nun. Noon. Noon sofit. That goes at the end of a word. So it does have a similarity. This one is a little more curved, and this one is goes straight down. Samech, Samech, Ayin, which is silent unless it uh, is given a vowel. And we will speak about vowels. I will do another lesson on vowels as a review. Pay. Now this one has two. Forms. Uh, it has the same shape but without the little dot. So this is pay with the dot. The one without the dot is fe. So we have pay and fe. Okay, this is uh, fe sufit at the end of a word. Sarik, Sarik, Sarik. And this is Sarik, Sofit. End of the word. Kuf, Resh. Now, this one is difficult for Americans to pronounce, but you have to roll that R. Just like in Spanish or in Italian. No, you, you say in Italian, I speak Italian. Ragazza, uh, ragazza, girl. Radio, radio. Now I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's the way you pronounce it. Um, radio in Spanish. Radio. And this is resh. Now, the next one is shin, shin. Now, there's two forms. Shin always uses a dot on the upper right-hand corner of the letter. It's shin. When this letter uses the dot on the left side of the letter, it is pronounced seen, seen. 
That's why you have this little reminder. SH for sheen, okay, and S for seen. Tab. Tab. Think of this as uh, this is a, a foot, and that's the toe. T -t -t. Toe for t. Okay, let's go through this a little bit faster. Aleph, bet, gimel, dalet, hey, vav, zayin, chet, tet, yud, kaf, kaf, lamet, mem, mem sofit. Nun, nun sufi. Samech, ayin, pe, fe, sadik, sadik sufi, kuf, resh, shin, sin, tab. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have not subscribed, please um, don't forget to hit that button. And, um, I will see you in the next lesson. Shalom.